Welcome to Reef Diary, day 64. So, this is usually the time of month when I would go ahead and put Bordibio in the tank. So I crawled up on the walkboard and I started to get set up and realized that the potassium bottle is completely empty. So I have now completed dosing three liters of potassium into the reef. The numbers are solid. The corals are doing great. I'm very happy with it and I can go ahead and take down this doser and bottle and put it up for now until I want to start putting more in the tank later. Now that I have a batch of salt that has plenty in it, plus I have a test kit to verify my numbers, I'm not going to be too concerned about it like I was all this time for the last month. The work tray was moved out of the way slightly so that I could show you what I'm doing today. The first thing I dosed today was the Provile of Bioptem by Prodibio. This is used twice a month in my tank. Actually, all the Prodibio products are used twice a month. The next tube is a type that has a pointy piece of glass at each end and needs a little small piece of airline tubing that you use to snap off the ends. So here's a picture to show you what I'm doing. I put the plastic over the end, break off one end. Now nothing will come out because of vacuum, but if I break off the other end, then the liquid flows right out into an area of high flow. And now I've just put in BioDigest into my system. Now I'm just throwing away the little bits of glass. This next vial, I peel off the foil, and that's going to be IOD+. Plus. And then the final vial that I'll be putting in will be Stronti+. Plus. It's actually surprising how easy the foil comes off the end, and yet it doesn't leak inside the package. So, I'm all done with the work tray. I can take that off the top of my tank and save it for another day. So I guess if you wanted, you could turn off the protein skimmer when you're adding this to your system, but I haven't. I've never even really given it any thought. But if you want to make sure it's getting into the system and not being pulled out rapidly, go ahead and turn off your protein skimmer for an hour or two. While the fish are eating some nori off of that feeding clip, I decided I'd go ahead and do a little cleaning of the glass as well. The fish didn't seem to mind my interaction too much, and so I was able to get some work done while they were nearby in plain sight. Things are really looking good these days. I'm uh, very pleased with the look of the tank, and I've been studying the corals closely. The weirdest thing that I could say is unusual is the way the cactus pavona right there in front of me, that big round thing that's uh, in front of my nose, that coral there is kind of serrated instead of rounded, and I've not seen it grow like that before, and I'm not really sure why it's doing it. I'm just going to keep an eye on it and see what it does next. Something pretty cool that I discovered when I was looking in the back of the reef, there's two more tiny patches of Sunset Montipora that are showing up in other areas. So I have these little bits, these little tiny, I don't know, pinky nail size patches of growth happening here, there, and everywhere, which I like. It makes me happy because that's one of the corals that I was really sad to lose. So having new ones growing out is great. Please be sure to like this video. I've seen a lot of you doing it. I really do appreciate that. And feel free to comment down below. I'll be happy to answer your questions. I've seen people say, hey, I can't get a hold of you. And I'm thinking I'm everywhere. So I'm not sure what you're trying to do to get a hold of me. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. And uh, if you want, you could even share this video with others if you think that it would benefit them. The Reef Diary series has been very popular. And a couple of people on Instagram said they're going to start doing their own Reef Diary each day. And I think that means we're trending at this point, right? In case you didn't know, the most recent issue of Coral Magazine actually features an eight-page spread about my reef tank. So if you'd like to get a copy of that magazine, it's available on MilosReef.com. As with anything, you'll learn the backstory of where it all came from and what I was doing and why I do it, as well as a lot of things about the equipment I'm using. I think that it was kind of a good timely thing, actually, because even though everything was happening with the tank... The article doesn't talk about the good old days. It doesn't talk about how everything's fine. It actually talks about how I overcome different things that occur and why my reef continues to live in spite of me. Which means if you'd like a copy of that story, feel free to place an order through the website. Also, if you want me to autograph it, I'd be happy to do so. Just tell me that somewhere in the comments or send me an email. Opening up Fusion on my phone, I'm able to check water parameters and see where things are, and everything is doing quite well. So that's really the only thing I did, was put in Prodibio, clean the glass, and check parameters. I love an easy day. Something I'd really like to get going probably will happen tomorrow, because I'm just too tired to do it tonight. I want to hook up a fresh batch of carbon on the tank. 
I mentioned doing that probably five or six days ago and it never got done. So the tank has still been running without any carbon on the system for some time. And I'd like to use it to polish the water and make it a little bit more clear. Have a great night, guys, and I'll see you again tomorrow.